Hello all, greetings, this is Gilles Mancio. I wanted to come and say hello, wish you a wonderful day. Uh, I'm gonna pull a few cards. I wanted to say happy birthday to all the Libras for we are entering into this Libra season. And I'm gonna pull a few cards for this month of October to look into uh, what will be, um, what we'll have to, uh, to um, I'm gonna pull 10 cards with the Voyager deck and then I'm gonna make a little recap for the next few days of uh, the, the Spirit Guides card. So the situation for us is synergy. It means everything, all the energies will blend. For, for we, there is only one spiritual path, and yet it is uh, singular, very particular to ourselves. And so, so it is about also sometimes um, life is like uh, creating a soup. You know, we're making, we're putting ingredients into it, and then sometimes there is something that comes into a soup that we don't don't want, we don't like that, and it's going to spoil the whole soup. But in many sense, we'll find out that no matter what comes into the process, at the end it, it will contribute to the to the delight of of, of the process. So, um, what, what surround that is disappointment. So so what? Uh, so it is about having too high of expectation or putting too much faith into something that cannot. If, if you're gonna go fish into a, into a river that does not have fish, you, you're not gonna pull out any fish. So it's about about finding um, what we uh, what we're disappointed about about natural change that we were expecting that have not yet happened. So patience is the card of death. So we were disappointed about that. What we've learned is the preserver is how to we focus our energy. What do we preserve what is being preserved for us and we can prevent the disappointment by purity purity is like an open window it's about being serene it's about not placing any expectation yet having trust that things will unfold as they should what we see before us is the, is a card of reflection it is the card of patience everything will come in due time for now there is no uh, there is no need to go plant seeds uh, in the middle of the winter so so it is important to allow ourselves to be patient and and once we fulfill that uh, that time uh, the sun will come in how beautiful that is it's, uh, it's the, the the love the romance the abundance the, the 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 freedom the creativity all of this will come into the picture once we have um, allowed ourselves to to complete this process in our deep, um, the, in our subconscious, our, our long past is the, the card of fulfillment. For we know what we, what makes us fulfill. We, there's this celebration is already anchored. It is getting. We're preparing for that right now. We are the learner. It means we are learning. We are, it is like a child. Child crystal that's opening his hand we need to learn there are certain things we cannot pretend we can pretend we know but in truth we don't really know so every day we we are growing from within that uh, whatever we know is increasing we, we whatever we put our energy towards is is really what unfold and so it is better to move uh, to put our energy towards what is really wanted what is really uh, desired rather than um, what we fear or what we what we lack for we cannot um, have something and desire it in the same time if we the desire only comes as a result of something we believe we do not have and so uh, what will come in the near future is the regenerator, new source, new energies, new people, new opportunities, all kinds of newness into life. What we are right now is aspiration. We are aspiring to freedom. We are aspiring to to. It is the card of, uh, of, of it's card of love, relationship. It is a card of uh, of togetherness. It is a very delicate energies that are coming. We have to be gentle and kind. What's come to us on the outside world is a card that's not really easy to handle. It is negativity. It is the contrast. It is the it is the separation. For we need to understand the separation in order to make the reconnection. So do not judge all those people who are involved in drama and negativity. Just breathe and, and let them be or also help them if you can. But um, once we detach from this negativity, the, from our environment, we reflect the senses. It's the he, she who sends behind the veil, she who understands things, who have this, this understanding, this innate understanding of how and why and uh, all those things. What we feel in our, in our inner emotion, hopes and fear, is the surfer. It is the fulfillment of our sexual nature. It is We have to heal this sexual nature, for Venus will go 40 days into retrograde, so we'll have to address those... Venus is the... Um, it's about money, it's about love, it's about uh, preferences, it's about attraction, it's about beauty, it's about all those things. And so we'll have to, um, to, to free ourselves so we can surf on the waves of inspiration and share that, uh, that experience. And the outcome is, wow, it's wonderful. It is the woman of cups. So no matter what, what energy may be painful now, no, there is joy at the end of the process. Joy is the outcome. It is the result of that that, that cleansing process that is happening. Uh, I wanted to... to um 
to, to yesterday I, I was talking about uh, about Plato about uh, Eros uh, the, the banquet of Plato and I was thinking the most difficult thing for me for when I moved when I listened to Plato is that those those uh, those habits where men were only interested in men that was really difficult for me to to, to pass by but beyond that but in many sense I felt like you should it was probably really good to be a heterosexual at the time of Plato because women must have been really bored and so they were all like because men were into men so uh, but in many sense eros is um Eros is, uh, is uh, in this book they discuss the higher Eros, the celestial Eros, and the, the, the lower Eros. Eros is a big planet in astrology. It is it has this gravitation um, orbit uh, right outside of Mars, and so Mars has integrated some of that Eros to balance out with Venus. For Venus is Aphrodite. It is there is a celestial Aphrodite and and. Uh, um, uh, popular as Af Aphrodite, but there is also a planet named Amor. Amor is another planet, but there is many planets that uh, that are um, that resonate to the frequency of love. It's just different aspect of love. The, the card um, the. the Amor is a heart that is separated by a line, so it is those two sides of the heart that are being reunited, and it is a planet I have. Uh, I'm not really sure where it is. Uh, so it's, it's like exploring the universe, sometimes exploring this painting, looking for one, and so. Um, uh, I wanted to say that the, the with the, yeah so Plato in in many sense uh, uh, through, through his teaching uh, um, teaches the, the what is true what is beautiful and what is good and that is also the the, the Christ also brought a new level of uh, of love and understanding of God. Uh, for for love is not always equal to God, but God is always equal to love. It maybe sounds paradoxical to say that, but uh, that's the way I that sense I feel, and so. Um, so understanding that the I am presence is, is the God self. It is what's it is from inside of us, but it's extra universal. It comes directly from paradise to monitor, to to monitor and to to minister to the to the mortal consciousness. And yet it is one and and completely in, in complete harmony with all the forces of the universe that regulate the, the the evolution of the physical universe, such as the spirit and the angels. And so the, there is a there is a balance of energies that has to the, eventually the, the there is be um, a union. Between between all those parts, and and then once they all work together, then um, there will be a great sense of uh, empowerment that will come as a result of such uh, such a connection. <laughs> so um, I'm going to pull a few cards just to say for the day. For the day, the highest wisdom is responsibility. We have to, to, to be responsible for ourselves, but let go of all kinds of responsibility that are burdensome. What we need to do is, uh, that's the highest wisdom, what we need to understand is destiny. What is our destiny? What, to prepare for it, to, 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 move, to put on the shoes, to, to create the shoes and move on to uh, try to walk with that. At first, the, the creator shoes are maybe a little big to, to walk comfortably, but they adjust and, and slowly but surely we, we, we assume that responsibility of being the God unto ourselves. <laughs> we don't need to be the God unto anybody else, but to, to recognize the God unto ourselves, the, this, um, this, this empowerment. What we need to do is the healer. It is to be healed, it's to heal others, it's to find the wholeness, it's to find completion, it's to, 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 to allow ourselves to address the wounds and, and put an end to it. And uh, the general message is life purpose. For, for as we move towards our destiny, we understand the, the, the meaning of life. For life does not have any meaning until we discover that uh, uh, we, we attribute meaning and values that are really very important to, 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 co to connect, to, to, to develop our own personal values and meaning. But eventually we, we let go of ego, ego value, ego meaning to, to move into divine, uh, to, to allow the revelation of the divine to, to increase our level of, uh, of meaning and value in relationship to to um to the higher to, to, to the life process. Well, the painting behind me is, like I said, it's an astronomical painting. Um, there is about 150 planets, and uh, they all are connected to mythological stories. There's a sort of that process. I'm looking forward to do a large version of those paintings. They will be quite fun. I'm going to finish with a song. It's a song by a, a French singer named Charles Aznavour that was quite well known in America, in Japan. Uh, who's been singing for a very long time. He sings these uh, songs in English sometimes when he came to New York to sing them. But um, I'm going to sing this one in French. It's about someone who says, um, the, "Take me to the other side of the world. Take me to the wonderland. Uh, I believe that I, I trust that." Uh, misery would be better if I were living in a paradisical island and he's ready to let go of all his life to embrace a new his dream. It goes like this. Vers les docks où le poids et l'ennui me courbent le dos 
Ils arrivent le ventre alourdi de fruits les bateaux. Ils viennent du bout du monde apportant avec eux des idées vagabondes aux reflets de ciel bleu, de mirage, traînant un parfum formé de pays inconnus, d'éternels étés où l'on vit presque nu. Sur les plages, moi qui n'ai connu toute ma vie que le ciel du nord, j'aimerais débarbouiller ce gris en virant de bord. Emmenez-moi au bout de la terre, emmenez-moi au pays des merveilles. Il semble que la misère serait moins pénible au soleil. Dans les bars à la tombée du jour avec les marins. Quand on parle de filles et d'amour, un verre à la main. Je perds la notion des choses et soudain ma pensée m'enlève et me dépose un merveilleux été sur la grève. Où je vois tant dans les bras l'amour qui comme un fou court au devant de moi et je me prends au cou de mon rêve. Quand les bars ferment et que les marins rejoignent leur bord. Moi, je rêve encore jusqu'au matin, debout sur le port. Emmenez-moi au bout de la terre, emmenez-moi au pays des merveilles. Il semble que la misère serait moins pénible au soleil. Un beau jour sur un raffio craquant de la coque au pont. Pour partir, je travaillerai dans la soute à charbon. Prenant la route qui mène à mes rêves d'enfants sur des îles lointaines où rien n'est important que de vivre. Où les filles à l'anguille vous ravissent le cœur en vous tressant ma tondie de ces colliers de fleurs qui enivrent. Je fuirai laissant là mon passé sans aucun remords. Sans bagage et le cœur libéré en chantant très fort. Emmenez-moi au bout de la terre, emmenez-moi au pays des merveilles. Il semble que la misère serait moins pénible au soleil. Emmenez-moi au bout de la terre, emmenez-moi au pays des merveilles. Il semble que la misère serait moins pénible au soleil. Ah, thank you very much. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful song. It's somebody that had a very long life with my father's, my parents' generations. Uh, but in many sense, I do not believe in this. So I know that everybody that's been here down there is always very happy when they return to their original state of, of light and divine light. So we, for me, um, when somebody passes on, it's always a, a, an occasion for celebration rather than sadness and pain. And so I'm very happy for him. We send him love and greetings and blessings on his new life in the light. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much for liking, sharing, subscribing. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste.